All right, another Friday video. Um, today, I know some of you might actually be here because you want to know who won. Um, we'll talk about that at the end. Um, so, uh, this is the same day as I, I filmed the announcement, so I don't know who's going to win because that's the future. But um, we'll use one of the, there's a bunch of randomizer selectors from comment selectors on the internet. So I'll use a tool to randomly pick who wins. And uh, we'll announce that at the end of this video. But today's video is about um, updating the firmware, firmware on the ArcDroid. So um, I had some, I had some issues in the past because I had a bad communications board um, on my ArcDroid, but we got that resolved with ArcDroid. Andrew was good about that, handled it right away. So uh, this is the first update I've had to do since that. So I, d I expect it to go smoothly, but um, um, so that's what I'm gonna do today. And then uh, I'll probably cut out a Christmas tree just to prove it still works after the update. And this won't be a very long video. And then we'll get to who won the, the Santa signs. So let's get started. All right, so um, I put everything all on one side so we can see the screen and actually see where the slot is on the ArcDroid uh, robot unit there, the main unit. So I, I turned it on just to make sure everything came up. It's all plugged in correctly and everything. So turn it back off. Micro SD card, this is an eight gigabyte one. It needs to be less than 32. And if you put it in the right direction, so the only thing on there is the bin file that you download from ArcDroid. It's zipped up. I grab that file, and it's formatted FAT32. And just that one file is on there. So stick it in, turn it on, and it's supposed to automatically flash. Busy processing, boom, that was it. Now, uh, if I'm smart enough to remember, maybe I have to do this. version info. So you can see here that it was updated with the uh, October 27th, 2023. So I think that's the newest firmware. So that worked. So I'll turn that off. And the process for updating the uh, controller is very similar. So you take the zip file that includes, uh, there's like five or six files and a, f and a folder, and zip that onto a completely empty USB thumb drive, and then stick it in and turn it on and it does the update. So I didn't strictly need to do this firmware update. Um, I just like to keep things up to date. So I update it just like my laptops and anything else. I try to keep them up to date, update them as things come out. Um, this one does support the, um, the little, the rack edition that allows you to double the workspace. So um, you can look on the ArcDroid website more for that. And, and now this is the firmware is updated to the 1110B, which is the new version from that. So all updated, good to go, no issues, which is exactly what I would expect. I hope somebody got something out of that. So let me move all this stuff around and set it up for cutting and we'll uh, 
cut. I'm not going to do a calibration because I don't think I should have to do a calibration, but we'll see what happens. I'll go ahead and cut out a tree and, and uh, see how that works. All right, I'm set back up to cut. Um, I loaded the Christmas tree. Um, same file that I've used before. Downloaded a file that's free on uh, Bad Dog Metalworks website, so go check him out. I'll put another link in for him. And uh, I've cut this out several times. It's the same cut out as right here. So I just flopped it, so loaded it in 270 degrees, so it's opposite of this. You use less metal that way. I haven't done any calibration, haven't done anything like that. Um, I just brought the controller over to this side because have it, that's where I usually have it. And uh, I didn't turn on the torch. So let me turn on the plasma cutter and we'll cut it and see what it does. I think this is 18 gauge, so I think 26 amps will be plenty. And grab my shade so I can watch. Turn on the torch. And let's run it. So there we go, another Christmas tree cut out. Uh, no stalls, no hiccups. So the shielded Cat 6 still doing its job. Uh, you can see the cuts are pretty clean. Uh, and it's not locked in. It's still pretty warm. But uh, yeah, you've seen me bend this before in a prior video, but just bend that up and you got a 3D Christmas tree. So pretty cool. All right, so there we go. Um, caliber, or updated the firmware on the Arc Droid and the control unit and uh, didn't do a calibration. Simply use the existing calibration and cut out another Christmas tree. Um, no issues whatsoever. Uh, just how it should be. Just like when, you know, there's a, our Android has, Android. Andrew has a video updating the firmware and uh, it's just simple. So, uh, no worries with that and um, now on to what some of you are here to see who won the saws so unfortunately today's the I mean the, <laughs> the announcement hasn't even gone out yet future me is gonna have to handle that so um, after all the uh, entries are done and future me uses a randomizer to pick the winner winners there'll be two winners um, I'll film that, add it to the end of this video. So future me will tell you who won and then we'll uh, get your contact information and get the saws sent out to you. And hopefully that'll add to a Merry Christmas for all of you. So uh, until then, hold on tight. Future me will be here like, like they do on the YouTube videos. Future me will be here like, boom, Friday. Contest is over. Um, 
appreciate um, the, <laughs> the responses. So Yellow Metal Driver is uh, one of the winners and SLR Custom Guitars. Um, I've already contacted them and I'll get these sent out to them. The uh, Santa's Workshop signs are on their way to uh, the winners, or they will be shortly. Um, thanks for watching the video and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and uh, see you next time. Thanks.